This short video is meant to help you decide about whether or not to have genetic testing for hereditary cancer based on your cancer diagnosis. Genetic testing is your choice and is being offered to you to clarify if there is a genetic explanation for your cancer and or the cancer in your family. This video is meant to add to a conversation you'll have with your cancer care team. We hope it will help you understand what genetic testing can and cannot tell you, some of its drawbacks, and how it might be helpful for you and your family. Hereditary cancer is a type of cancer that can be inherited in families. Most cancer is not inherited. Most cancers, about 85%, are due to a combination of factors, such as environment, lifestyle, age, biological sex, and chance, with just a small effect due to inherited genetic factors. Only 10 to 15% of all cancers are strongly due to inherited genetic factors, with minimal causes from other factors. This is about 3 out of 20 people with cancer. Finding individuals and families with an increased genetic risk for cancer is important because it can help personalize their cancer treatment, screening, and prevention. Our genes are written in DNA code, and they have instructions that tell our bodies how to grow and stay healthy. Some genes are important in helping prevent cancer. Hereditary cancer can happen when we have a change or mutation in a gene that protects us from cancer. The mutation stops the gene from working the way it should and increases our risk of getting some kinds of cancer in our lifetime. Since there are many genes involved with various types of cancer, the cancer type and amount of increased risk someone has depends on their specific gene mutation. You are being offered genetic testing to look at a number of genes where mutations are associated with an increased risk of cancer. Depending on the gene, the risk of one or more cancers may be increased. Genetic testing may give what is called a negative, positive, or uncertain result. What is called a negative result means that no mutations were found in the genes tested. This is the most common result of hereditary cancer genetic testing, making up about 65% of test results. About 13 out of 20 people who have this genetic testing will have a negative test result. This result means the testing did not find a hereditary cause involving the genes tested to explain your cancer. However, there is still a chance for hereditary cancer if you have a family history of cancer. If you have a family history of cancer, please discuss it with your cancer care team. Further genetic review may be right for you and your family. Other factors, such as your lifestyle and environment, also play a role in cancer risk. Your cancer care team would consider these when discussing your treatment, cancer screening, and prevention following genetic testing. What is called a positive result means that a gene mutation associated with an increased risk for cancer was found from your testing. This happens in about 15% of hereditary cancer genetic tests done. About 3 out of 20 people tested will have a positive test result. A positive result confirms that you have an inherited risk for cancer, and your close family members might as well. It likely explains your diagnosis of cancer, and could mean you also have an increased risk for other cancers. A positive result may help in planning your cancer treatment, and suggest other cancer screening for you. Because you are being offered a test for many cancer genes linked to a number of cancers, there is a small chance that you may carry a mutation in a gene that increases risks for cancer, but that does not explain the cancer you have developed. Since gene mutations are passed on in families from generation to generation, if you carry a gene mutation associated with an increased risk of cancer, your close relatives may also carry the same gene mutation. A person who carries a gene mutation has a 50-50 or 1 in 2 chance of passing it on to his or her sons and daughters. Knowing which relatives have inherited the gene mutation in the family will help their healthcare team personalize their cancer screening and prevention plans. This genetic risk information is important to male and female relatives. What is called an uncertain result is when a gene variant of unknown significance, or VUS, is found. A VUS is found about 20% of the time in genetic tests for hereditary cancer. About 4 out of 20 people tested will have an uncertain result. 
A VUS is a difference found in the DNA code that needs further research to figure out if it is actually just a normal difference in the gene, which has no impact on cancer risk, or if it is a harmful mutation associated with an increased cancer risk. If you receive a VUS test result, your cancer treatment, screening, and prevention will be based on your personal and family health history. As more medical information becomes available about a VUS over time, its impact on cancer risk can become clear. Since the meaning of a VUS is not clear, genetic testing of family members for this same VUS is not recommended. In most cases, a VUS is eventually found to be harmless and just normal genetic variation. It is good to stay in touch with your care team over time about VUS test results. If you choose to have genetic testing, you will usually hear your result from your cancer care team. The Hereditary Cancer Clinic Hub will also follow up with you about your test result, and you may be offered an appointment with a genetic counselor. Your specific cancer risk estimates and your screening and prevention plan will depend on your genetic test result, along with your personal and family history of cancer. Further genetic testing may be helpful for you or your relatives to consider, and we encourage you to share your results with your family doctor and with your family. In most situations, Genetic test results are expected in four to eight months. Before having genetic testing, you may wish to consider what all potential results could mean for you, medically and personally. Genetic testing can also impact relationships with family and friends, and some people wonder about how genetic testing will affect insurance and employment. There is a federal law in Canada to prevent genetic discrimination by health insurers and employers. There may be gaps to this law in some areas, and not all types of insurance are protected. Personal factors and timing play a role in the decision to have genetic testing, and it's up to you whether or not to go ahead with getting tested. It is important to know that your testing decision will not impact your relationship with your cancer team. You do not have to decide about your genetic testing today. Further information about genetic testing, possible results, and their implications is available from your cancer care team. You will be given a patient information booklet with more information about genetic testing and a list of helpful online resources. You may wish to review this information with your regular doctor and or a trusted friend or family member to help make your decision. If you have more questions, an appointment with a genetic counselor is available. If you are interested, please ask your cancer care team for more information.